the kitchen, finally. We didn't exactly volunteer. It's a requirement of our home economics curriculum, but it certainly will be fascinating to study the machinations of a junior high school kitchen. You can study them all you want, as long as you scrub them out, too. <laughs> <laughs> Brother and sister in the same class. You must be so close. Why did you have to take home economics anyway? I don't restrict my interests according to per se gender-based biases. What is that? That is the Edna Flow pressure cooker. Specially designed for heavy duty eye pressure boiling. The airtight lid is clamped down so as to keep the steam inside. Greatly decreasing the time needed to boil large amounts of generic cafeteria meats. Exactly. Today, for example, is boiled yak day. Yak? You've had it before, have you? <laughs> cafeteria food? Oh. I don't know how I survived it with my delicate constitution. You don't have to worry about your delicate constipation now, Phantom. What with me cooking delicious and beautifully arranged gourmet meals for you, and I know you appreciate it. Ketchup! With a specially designed plexiglass window here, we can check to see when the yak is boiled to the proper rubbery consistency without having to remove the lid. You don't want to tamper with that lid. If it was to pop off at the wrong time... Boom! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> boom! <laughs> yeah, boom! <laughs> <laughs> the wonders of the ocean floor! A constantly changing, shifting and volatile environment with earthquakes, volcanoes, and hydrothermal vents, all related to a phenomenon known as plate tectonics. Things were fine when I was an only child. Look what he's doing. He knows how much that bugs me. Don't let him get to you, Ruby. Some of us are trying to learn. Next, we will look at the development of submersible craft for undersea exploration, such as the very first submersible built in the 1930s and called a bathysphere. I have to share my parents, my holidays, even my teacher with him. It consisted of a steel sphere with windows of fused quartz. The sphere had to be lowered and raised by cable from a ship, and no rescue was possible if the cable broke. I can't help it if I was accelerated a couple of grades because of my superior intelligence. Now we have a little surprise! <laughs> a brand new saltwater aquarium! <gasps> But there ain't no fish. <clears throat> there are no fish. There ain't? There are fish. <laughs> One exotic fish for each of you to pick out and name before placing in the tank. Now line up in an orderly fashion. Oh, 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 I was here first. I was here two years before you. Ruby! Would you care to explain the problem to the class? Marcus is the problem! He's driving me crazy! But I'm your brother. I just want to be near you. I need some space! All right, Ruby dear. There's plenty of space for you. Right at the end of the line. They have no idea how lucky they are. They have no idea what it's like to be an only child genius, to have a solitary childhood, always alone, completely alone. But you're not alone now, Phantom. You've got me. With all due respect, you're a rat! True. Hey, I'll call mine Johnny. Very good, Johnny. He always has to know what I'm doing, even what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> See what I mean? And you get the final fish, Ruby. A bloated bottom feeder. Boy, this is one ugly fish. It kind of reminds me of somebody. Yeah, that's 
fish definitely looks just like... No, uh, he doesn't, Fred. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody. What are they talking about? Ah! <coughs> ah! Ah! Baby kids. I know! <laughs> it looks just like that guy! Uh, the short, fat guy with, with big, bulging eyes. Uh, the weird guy in the trophy case. Who's he talking about? I remember now! Ah! The fish looks just like Earl! Like Earl! Like Earl! <gasps> like Earl! Like Earl! Any similarity is, is purely coincidental, boss. <laughs> Not that there is any similarity. It, just a little around the eyes, maybe. Ah! Make fun of Earl, will you? Let's see if you think Earl is funny when you're all fish food! be a good idea to call Buford. I want him to look at my desk. It seems to be uh, warped or something. Oh, oh, how fortuitous! Now we'll have the opportunity to study marine life in its natural habitat. Binocular spectrometer, school blueprints, Marcus Mini Megamind, carbonated beverage. What are you doing? We don't know what Earl has in store for us this time. You've got to be prepared for any eventuality, Billy. Maybe excuse Mrs. Snodgrass. I have to. Oh. Never mind. Where's Ruby? Makeup, pocket fan, ballet slippers, eight by tens, extra shoes, more extra shoes. You gotta be prepared. You gotta. Ah! It's wanted space? Now you've got an ocean of space! <laughs> I get for rescuing you? You didn't rescue me, Billy did. Now you two quit arguing. We have more important things to deal with, like this school of sharks, for instance. Maybe, uh, maybe they're dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> Those dumb kids think they're being hunted by dolphins! <laughs> <laughs> dolphins! <laughs> uh, they're not, are they? Well, let's have a look. Large numbers of sharks are often attracted to the same bait and become a whirling circle of activity known as a feeding friends. Ah! 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 Definitely sharks! Uh, apparently there's one hard rule concerning sharks. Never bleed in the water. That's very helpful. You guys better leave us alone! Because I've got a pocket fan and I'm not afraid to use it. Ruby, you should never. I know, I know, you should never have electrical appliances near water. There go the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, that's my carbonated beverage. All right, who wants a piece of me? Come on, who's first? I want the biggest and the meanest. <laughs> Ah, uh, I was saving that for lunch. Ah, all right. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's a powerful pocket fan, Ruby. Thanks. I had the setting on super blowhard. How appropriate. What did you say? Hey, how come we're picking up speed? That's the library! So the water's probably flowing down the main stairs. What does that mean? It means they're going over the falls without a barrel! <laughs> hey there, kids! Buford! Look what I got for! 
for you. A whole bag of life preservers. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot. These are the strangest life preservers I've ever seen. They're not exactly life preservers. They're actually the fancy new foam toilet seats Principal Mulligan ordered. Toilet seats? Yep. The very latest in toilet seating technology. And they float! Let me help you, Ruby. Uh, y your toilet seat is... Leave me alone! Thanks to a mistake in the purchase order, I got enough toilet seat preservers for everybody in the school. And a few extras for the girls' gym teacher, Miss Widelow. Now all <laughs> we have to do is figure a way out of this mess. This is all my fault. It's been a good couple of weeks since I cleaned out the main drain in the sub-basement. You mean near the boiler room? The water isn't running off like it should because the drain's probably clogged with muck. You have been mucking around with that drain, haven't you? Uh, of course, Phantom. Why, I put fresh muck down there uh, this morning. But, Buford, we can go down there with Scooby Gear and clean out the drain, and everything will be back to normal. Uh, it's too far down, Billy. The water pressure would be too great. The kid's right. Why, you'd need a vessel of some kind. Uh... Something large enough to fit us in, but able to withstand the pressure. It would have to be made of a strong metal, but with some kind of window for visibility. Yeah, with handles on the side and a durable non-stick coating. Well, these are options, of course. Where are we gonna find something like that? I know! I thought of it first. No, I did. That's hardly possible. What do you mean by that? Tell, Tell us! us! Lunch isn't ready for another half hour. Hey, the cafeteria is as dry as a bone. Oh, yeah. These doors are completely airtight to keep noxious lunchtime odors inside where they belong. Sorry, ladies. We're here to commandeer one heavy-duty school-sized pressure cooker. You'll have to open these doors. Oh, janitors. District Superintendent Margulies on line three. Uh, Daphne. It busy. Oh, oh, oh I'm swamped. Get uh, up to my neck. Ouch! Well, she's all rigged. You're as ready as you're gonna be. Thanks, Buford. Let's hop in and get going. Get away from me, Marcus. Give me some space. If I move any farther away, I'll be in the water. Stop it, you two. that drain real quick, because we only have about 20 minutes worth of air in here. Hear that, Marcus? Stop breathing so much. On your left is the flounder, which changes color to blend into its surroundings. Uh, oh, above us is a marlin, the fastest hunter in the ocean. And the black devil, or anglerfish with a light at the end of a long, thin fin. Oh, here are some fish with interesting names. The jolt-head porgy, greater soapfish, monkey-faced brickleback, shrimp. Isn't there one fish you're forgetting, kiddies? Yeah, you're forgetting one. Uh, which one? According to Marcus Mini Megamind, we're at the correct depth. The drain should be just east of here. There it is! Everybody shift left. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Little to the left. <laughs> now the back. Right, right. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna be able to dig this muck away from the drain, we're gonna need excellent teamwork. Yeah, sure. As long as he is not on my team. Ditto! Left! Yeah. Now right! Yeah. That's good! Right! Yeah. It's working! Left! Yeah. We're almost there! Ow! Get off my foot! Give me some of them! Get off me! You get off me! <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Look what you did! what we're 
you're going to do now, Raticus? I sure do, boss. What? We're going to cut these kids' apron strings. Give me a little power, Ruby. We gotta get back to that drain. See if we can figure something out. He missed! Ah! What's the matter with you, Earl, you lousy incompetent? Uh, not you, boss. Earl the fish? <laughs> because you're the phantom. You, 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 you used to be Earl, but... Silence! Oh, no! I said a little power, Ruby. Not super blowhard. How is I supposed to know? Quite the fish, that Earl. <laughs> Buford let us go? No, the cord's been bitten. Earl! Give me some power, Ruby. I mean, super blowhard. Make up your mind. Shipwreck from the aquarium! Is he giving up? Not likely. What is that fish doing with a ship on his head? Looks like the backstroke to me. <laughs> uh, just a little untimely humor there. Do you have any idea where we are now? W we're right off the map, Billy. Which could mean we're close to the boiler room. This looks like the kind of ocean landscape Mrs. Snodgrass was teaching us. Something about... Plate tectonics! If we can apply sudden pressure to just the right spot, we might be able to cause a fracture in the ocean floor and shake things up a bit. There! Yeah, yeah, that's it. Power up! The sub has to be positioned just perfectly on top of the vent, so we can't have any arguments. We, we know. know. Okay, just a little to the left. Got it, a, a little to the front. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Perfect landing. Great job, you two. Yeah, good teamwork. Uh, what do we do now? We wait. What are they doing? It's obvious, isn't it? They've run out of power. Oh, this is too easy. Uh, Marcus, just in case we don't get out of this, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for complaining about you all the time. Oh, that, that's okay. I, I'm sorry, too, for not giving you enough space sometimes. And irritating you. That's okay. You don't do it on purpose. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Enough already! Jeez, what's with those two? Beats me. Here comes Errol! Wait! Wait! Super Blowhard! Principal. It's no longer boiled yak day. It's sushi day. Oh, no problem. I love sushi too. Well, that's another case for the files of the flying rhino. Hey, look what kind of fish I got. The kind that looks just like. <laughs> 